Hi guys, well I have some product updates for you. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions <laughs> recently about things I've shown and what I thought of them, some things on Instagram. So I'm gonna try to remember to talk about everything that I've shown recently. I always seem to forget something though. So if I do forget to mention something, leave me a comment below and I'll answer you directly. Um, most of this is going to probably be on things I've just bought recently that I showed. Um, you know, sometimes I already know or I'll talk about it in that video if I already like it, so I'm not going to touch on it again. So anyway, let's just get started. This has been a couple months ago and I just keep forgetting to talk about it and I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, but I'd shown in a, and most of the time if I get sent something, I just don't talk about it if I didn't like it, but I had some of you ask me and I have a recommendation in place of it. Now, um, of course, Joyco probably never sent me anything again for saying I didn't like this, but they sent me this hair shaker. I was so excited to try it because a lot of you know I have really fine hair, so I'm always looking to add volume um, to it. This is a liquid to powder texturizing finisher. Finisher. It's not the worst product I've ever used. I just didn't think it really worked. It didn't work for me. Um, yeah, if I remember, oh, it smells so good. It smells great. I just, I don't know. I didn't notice it really giving me a ton of volume um, and maybe because I had been using another product prior to that probably since about July because I know I took it with me to Orlando um, I had gotten a little sample size of the Alterna um, it's in a little purple bottle I'll put a picture or the exact name here what it is and I'll link it below it is a volumizer spray that stuff works really well I like it um, I'm still using the small size, but I plan on probably repurchasing a larger size because I do like that. Okay, some things that Pixie sent me that I had shown, and sometimes I only show them on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. Um, this Nourishing Cleansing Balm. I had some people ask me about this. Um, this makes your skin feel baby soft. Loved that. However, this is not my favorite cleansing balm. That's still Colleen Rothschild. This one seems like, and it says it's made with sweet almond oil and cocoa butter. This one I feel like, and I'm going to show it to you. Well, it's a little bit liquidy. You probably are not going to be able to see the detail, but it never seemed to get smooth. It has that little broken up oily kind of look to it. And when you, like with most, most cleansing balms, you put them between your hands and they kind of um, turn into like creamy, you know, so you can spread them. This didn't. This still had that chunky kind of oily consistency and I didn't like that at all. As a matter of fact, I'm still getting oil somehow on my hands and it's been sitting on my bathroom counter I want to talk about. It doesn't really get that warm in there, but yet it has some oil sitting on top. So I didn't love that. Again, it made my face feel really good. I just didn't enjoy using it. Again, I just didn't like the way it actually performs on the skin or anything. So I still like the Colleen Rothschild better. Now, you know, I believe it was in that same Pixie box they sent me. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this. Um, the Pixie by Petra, this is the beauty blush duo in um, Peach Honey. I've raved about this, you know, have it on right now, put it on Instagram, you know, has a great glow. That's like one of my favorite <laughs> products right now. But continuing on with what also they sent me, and again, if these aren't bad products, they're, they just weren't working for me. Um, the Pixie, this is the Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. I like this, but to me, the rose scent is a little too much. I It's hard to kind of, um, it's kind of hard to get used to. I don't like a lot of really strong scents, especially my skin's a little sensitive. So I didn't love that. Um, the Pixie Glow Tonic. This is nice and I know a lot of you said you liked it. It's 5% glycolic acid. It has aloe vera and ginseng. It may work well. However, when I'm using a glycon glycolic like toner or you know treatment pad or something, I like actually feeling it a little bit, like it's doing something. For me, this feels like an aloe lotion. It feels very, I mean, and not lotion like thick moisturizer, but it's not, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's doing anything. It's almost a little too slick when you put it on. This isn't something I'd buy if I wanted like the benefits from glycolic, so. Another skin thing I bought, um, I had, 
talked about skincare. You guys know I love Mad Hippie. I use the vitamin C serum. It's my absolute favorite. I've talked about that. I think I showed where I purchased this on Instagram. Love their eye cream. Again, I use that. Um, I bought the face cream for the very first time. And it says with peptides, um, argan oil, reservatrol. This was just okay, um, which is disappointing because I like the brand. I love, you know, the packaging. They always have nice little airless pumps. Maybe it just wasn't all that moisturizing for me, but it didn't wow me. It wasn't anything bad. It just wasn't like, uh, wasn't something I'd purchase again. This may be something you could go to in the summer when you don't need a lot of moisture to the, your skin, but my skin's been very dry recently. Um, just the humidity has been very low here. And so my skin's extra dry and this really hasn't been working. So speaking of, I feel like it looks really dry today. I don't know if it's just been a little more dry or what I put on it made it look more dry. So I had just posted that I had picked up some things from the um, It Cosmetics Friends and Family sale. So I am trying the Celebration Foundation Illumination. I got it in the color light. I lightly dusted it all over today. I have the It CC Cream on underneath of it. I don't know, I feel like it looks really dry right through here. This is kind of my dry area anyway, where anything's gonna show up. Like I said, it could just be my skin today, but I, I'm still working on this. I haven't ruled this out. I need to still work with it. So I'll let you know about that. Um, however, another powder foundation that I had mentioned I wanted to purchase and my friend Kristen sent me a text and said, I'll send you mine. So thank you again. I've already thanked her, but thank you so much again, Kristen. Um, she sent me her Armani Luminous Skin Powder Foundation. So it's in the color 4.5. I've used this once. This is what it looks like. I have to say, I mean, I feel like it looks darker in here. I mean, it's close to the liquid, but... I feel like this oxidized on me right away when I put it on and it grabbed right away where I put it on. So I still need to work with this. I haven't ruled this out, but I need to work with it more and maybe find a way to make it work. But I've only used it one time so far. So um, just wanted to let you know that I am trying that out. Also with the It Cosmetics Friends and Family sale, I picked up two liners because I was really, I don't, is this a new product for them? I feel like it's fairly new. Um, no tug waterproof anti-aging gel liner. I got it in black and I got it in navy um, because a lot of you guys know I love the Chanel uh, liner in marine and I'm always looking for a good navy and maybe something that stays on a little longer than the Chanel. Chanel stays on really good and I love the color. It's like a navy black kind of. It's not too bright. So I have on the navy right now in my waterline and I don't go all the way in my waterline. I kind of try to stay on my lash line and get on a little bit of my waterline. Um, I do like it. I'm not sure the color, the color from like this distance is great. When you first put it on, it's a little blue. Um, that's why I like to have something else on the lash line to make it kind of blend, but it stays all day. So it's something to consider if you're somebody that has a problem with gel liner. So I'm gonna put this on my hand and hopefully I don't have a hard time. It's one of these twist up. Um, so here's what the color looks like. So just a really pretty navy. The black is very black. Uh, I put black liner on my upper tight line just to make my lashes, you know, look thicker. It's very black and it stays. Um, so here is the black. I mean, I barely touched that. So. It, is, it does stay. Now, I have not used these anywhere else but on my waterline, but I know that's where a lot of you have problems. So, I've not used it on my actual lash line as a liner to know if it transfers or anything like that. I'm not sure. Of course, the other things I think I'd already mentioned I bought were my favorites. So, um, Pixie sent me something just the other day, this Endless Silky Eye Pen and Graphic Grage. Um, it, it's funny because I got it I think right after I'd already placed my It Cosmetics order. This is a really good liner. This, I like the color too. I always like gray. This is pretty much a similar concept. It's that really glide on, easy, almost gel-like, but in a pencil. This stays really well as well. So I like this one a lot. Um, they did send me, which too bad I can't use it. They sent me their um, Endless Brow Gel Pen 
but I'm gonna give this away because uh, it's in the color medium, so it's not gonna work for me to be too dark. So, so hopefully I'm not confusing you guys. I just have so many products in front of me that I wanna try to get through them um, all. So the NARS, these are what? The Velvet Lip Glides, I think they are called. I showed you two colors. I am wearing this one. This is in the color Bound. Really love this. Can't stop wearing it. I've been wearing it a ton. It's very comfortable. You can put it right to the edges of your lips. It looks beautiful. It doesn't bleed, at least on me. Like I said, very comfortable. You can put your lips together for hours later and it still feels uh, not dry and almost like you just put it on. Really nice feel. However, the color Unlaced, I sent back. It was beautiful when I swatched it, but as soon as I put it on, it was very pot look good. Uh, on my lips and even though I loved the color swatch it just didn't go on I mean they to me they went on like two different products on my lips but again this one is beautiful if you want to try and the colors bound again I am wearing it now the marula oil I've only used this a couple times so sorry I can't really say I showed you I bought it in the little roller ball some of you asked me if it had a scent it does um not a strong scent at all and it's very familiar but I can't place it it's almost spa like scent I don't know it's very familiar um I'm not sure if it works I know a lot of you like it I kind of just used it a little one night when my skin was really dry I didn't notice any like great change but again I only used it one time so I haven't I just haven't gotten to play around with it um as far as the Laura Mercier powder that I showed, this is what, the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, and I have it in the shade one. These to me are all kind of warm. I actually saw them for the first time in person over the weekend. I had just ordered this number one thinking, oh, because the others looked very warm, I didn't want to get any darker colors. This is very silky and very nice. I've used it under my eyes. I've used it to set my face. It's very sheer. I mean, it's not joking when that's what it says. Sheer perfecting powder. So some of you may really like that. To me, it bl doesn't blow my socks off, but it's a nice powder. So it just depends what you're looking for, really. Um, but it is nice and I have been using it. So I did send back the Becca Blush Trio. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a little Insta story and said I could not believe how pigmented those blushes were. You would think that'd be a good thing, but in that case, it was bad. It was like, no matter what, you got too much blush for my skin tone. If you are medium to dark skin tone, you'd probably love it. Um, they're gorgeous colors. I mean, I didn't want to send it back, but there was just no way it was going to work for me at all. It's like you barely touch your brush in there and you look like a clown face almost. It's just, I don't know, it wasn't good for me, which is unfortunate. Um, I also sent back the ba Becca Backlight Primer. I can't say for certain it broke me out terribly, but it was right after I used it the first time. And I haven't broken out, except for that like little pimple I said I was getting above my lip. All of a sudden, I got three of its sisters that showed up right after that. I mean, I haven't had pimples that bad in years and that many of them. I mean, I didn't even film a video, I don't think, in between them because I felt like it was hard to cover them up. They were that bad. It's like one right here and like two right here. They're just now getting to where I can kind of cover them up and they're not terrible. They're going away. But I mean, I was like, I don't know if that's just a coincidence or what, but it just so happened that it seemed like it happened right after that. And when I used it, it wasn't like I was totally blown away. It's nice. It's not like it's a bad product. It just didn't like wow me. Like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever seen. So anyway, and then with me breaking out, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna send that back. I also <laughs> sent back the Tarte Blush Palette. Remember I'd asked you guys, and it was funny, I had such mixed reactions. Some of you were like, oh my gosh, I love it. You should keep it. Some of you were like, no way send it back, it's got bad ingredients, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I should have known when I talked to you guys about it and I was like, you know, I don't know why I'm not using it. You know, trust my own instinct. I should have known when I wasn't wanting to use it right away, it was just okay, it wasn't blowing me away. And I've just found as I've gotten older and I don't like wasting my money and you know, for several years now I've talked about kind of reducing my makeup collection and only want to use the products I really like. That doesn't keep me from buying new things because new things turn into favorite things, obviously. But I just don't want an enormous collection of makeup sitting around that's just okay. I want to actually use things. So I don't hesitate to 
return stuff if I don't like it or like in that case I'm not even you know I get it and I look at it I don't even use it I don't even touch it and go okay it's got to go back so I did send it back there's so many more blushes that I like I mean I could tell you three right now and they're all drugstore looking at them like I love these from Milani I've been using this I have on this today this is the uh, romantic rose and then I love the blossom time rose that's a great one I love the elf mellow mauve um, I love my, I use this quite a bit. I don't know if I ever talked about that. The Cheekathon from Benefit. Um, you know, I like Benefit blushes. So there's other blushes that I like. I do like some tart blushes and I have some. I got them in like a little, uh, holiday kit, I think last year. So I do have a couple and I like them. There's just, you know, other blushes that I like better. Okay, so Estee Lauder um, sends me products from their Estee Edit line. Most of you guys know that. Um, I hadn't talked about it recently, but I got this probably several weeks ago. I got their new um, palette that comes together. I wish it would show up how gorgeous these palettes are of all the glitter. I mean, well, you've probably seen other people talk about them. They do um, magnetize together, which is awesome. Even though I like this, I know it's not totally for me. I like some other products they've sent me, I've shown to you guys. Um, but this one is the Glitter Eye Palette, and it took all I could not to stick my fingers in here and swatch these right when I got them because it's gorgeous. But as you know, it sit around for a few days, me waiting to tell you guys about it, you know, it was like, I'm probably not gonna use this palette. But I like it, it's beautiful. I mean, look at those colors. Like these colors right here, love those. Like I said, takes all I can not to dig my fingers in there and just watch it for you guys. But somebody else will love this and I wanted to show it to you. And these are nice size, they have a nice mirror, they're a nice weight. They come with a little um, plastic thing with colors on them. I mean, nice size, look at that, magnetic. This one is the uh, Glow Face and Eye, so you can use it for face or eye. And again, it has the little plastic with the colors. This is really pretty too. Again, it's not that I don't like these. I just know me and I know I'll use it once or twice and it'll set around. And I just feel like that's wasteful. I appreciate um, getting the product and being able to tell you guys about it. If you were wondering about my makeup, uh, this is pretty much everything that I have been wearing, except for maybe the lips, the eyes are exact same, um, you know, everything else in a makeup video I did probably a couple weeks ago, uh, get wear ready with me, I will leave it linked below. One last thing for my Stella and Dot lovers, your favorite Dot Dollars is starting November 10th, uh, depending on when this video goes up, that may be today, November 10th through December 13th. You know, we only run that promo twice a year. It's our best promo. For every $50 you spend, you get 25 back in Dot Dollars to spend at a later date. So I just wanted to mention that here. I know some of you are in my VIP group. Of course, I put everything there. Um, but again, I know a lot of you purchase Sell and Dot uh, that watch me on here. So I wanted to mention that. If you are are signed up to get the emails through Sell and Dot, you'll get an email through them about it. But again, I just wanted to let you know here. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch and we will see you next time. Bye.